Time for our plays of the week. We call them our hot shots. Play number one is from our game of the night. Highland kicking off here, and they made a mistake letting Jacob Cisneros field it. The Fever Offensive Player of the Year candidate making an amazing special teams play, returning the kickoff for a touchdown. However, Highland would win this game. Play number two, how about this one-handed catch from Ironwood's Steiner Christensen. Look at this. Over the middle, making it look easy, just pulling it out of the air. One more look, slow it way down for you. Hey, give me that. I'll take that. Thank you, thigh pad. Makes it look really smooth. We call that snaggums back in the day, Cheerson. Okay. <laughs> Play number three is from Cactus at uh, Casa Grande. Cougars quarterback Angel Flores finding Demetrius Garrett. Uh, gets away from some, some defenders uh, and is going to take it all the way for the 73-yard score. But that play wouldn't be enough to keep Casa Grande's season alive tonight, unfortunately. How about the block there from his receiver taking out two guys? All right, uh, and this week we have a fourth play for you from last night's Chili Bowl between Higley and Mountain Ridge. An incredible two-point attempt. Kai Milner turns around, the no-look pass over his shoulder to Ian Stair. Higley wins the first ever Chili Bowl, 50-14. Look at this. What's the story behind that? We need to talk to Coach. How cool is that? Uh, Milner, by the way, was named the game's MVP. Don't forget, log on to 12news.com or the 12 News app. Cast your vote all week long for your favorite play. The voting goes all week, and the winner is revealed next Friday night right here on The Fever. And congrats to last week's Hot Shot winner, Jacob Cisneros. He's on the list again. Could become a two-time winner. Look at that. Uh, stays in bounds on this touchdown run. Oh, he had four last week. He was just incredible. He's been incredible all year. Jags, by the way, beat Shadow Ridge last week. Cisneros got 91% of the vote. They got some loyal fans up there in Anthem Cheerston, uh, but definitely he's in the running for our Friday Night Fever Offensive Player of the Year. You know, they were talking about uh, his return for a touchdown today at the O'Connor si game on the sidelines. That uh, news had traveled quickly. He is just a stud. Uh, still ahead on Friday Night Fever.